We all know about the fictional and the real heroes of Spider-Man and Superman. But I'm going to talk about some real people who have some extraordinary abilities that portrays them as a real superhero. Wim Hof. Wim Hof, commonly known as the Iceman, is a Dutch extreme athlete and wellness advocate known for his extraordinary ability to withstand cold temperature in his unique breathing techniques. He has gained international attention for his accomplishments, setting numerous world records related to cold exposure and endurance. Wim Hof, born on April 28, 1959 in Sittard, Netherlands. He grew up in a large family and began his journey into extreme cold exposure at an young age. He discovered his passion for cold water swimming while walking across a partially frozen canal in his hometown. Wim Hof's most famous feat is ability to withstand extremely cold temperature. He has set multiple world records for prolonged exposure to cold conditions. In 2008, Wim Hof spent one hour and 52 minutes submerged in ice water without showing any signs of hypothermia or discomfort. He set a world record by maintaining full body contact with ice cubes for one hour and 53 minutes. In 2007, he climbed an altitude of 7,400 meters, which is 24,278 feet on Mount Everest, wearing only shorts and shoes, a remarkable feat considering the challenging environmental conditions. In 2013, Wim Hof completed a full marathon of around 42.195 kilometers in temperatures well below the freezing condition, wearing only shorts. Wim Hof's attributes, his abilities to what he called the Wim Hof method, a combination of a specialized breathing technique, cold exposure and mental focus. This method is designed to help individuals and enhance the physical and mental well-being. The breathing exercises involve deep and rapid breaths followed by periods of breath retention which are believed to alkalize the body and increase oxygen levels. Cold exposure also a key component with believers suggesting that it can improve circulation, boost the immune system and increase the mental resilience. Wim Hof's achievements have attracted the attention of researchers and scientists who have studied the physiological and psychological effects of his practices. Some studies suggest his techniques can indeed influence aspects of the autonomic nervous systems and immune response. Wim Hof's journey and accomplishments highlight the potential of a human body to adapt and respond to extreme conditions. While his methods have garnered both admiration and skepticism, they continue to spark scientific interest and discussions about the limits of human physiology and the mind and the body connection. Ben Underwood Ben Underwood is a remarkable young man who gained worldwide attention for his exceptional ability to navigate and perceive his surroundings despite being completely blind. His unique ability, often referred to as sonar vision or human echolocation, allowed him to move around independently by using sound to create mental maps of his environment. Ben Underwood born on January 26, 1992 in Riverside, California, US. At the age of two, he was diagnosed with retinal cancer, which is retinoblastoma, and underwent surgery to have both of his eyes removed to prevent the spread of the disease, and he was left completely blind. From a very young age, Ben exhibited a remarkable ability to navigate his surroundings using sound. He learned to emit clicking sounds with his mouth and then listen to the echoes to determine the location, distance and texture of objects around him. This skill is analogous to the way dolphins and bats used use echolocation to navigate and locate their prey. Ben developed a uniform of human echolocation that allowed him to perceive his environment 
with astonishing precision. He could discern the size and shape of the objects, detect obstacles, and even differentiate between materials based on the echoes of his clicks. This enabled him to ride a bike, play a video game, and engage in activities that many who consider impossible for a blind person. Ben's story inspired many and challenged conventional notions of blindness and human perception. He demonstrated his echolocation skills in public appearances and showcased how he could maneuver through complex environment with ease. Tragically, Ben Underwood's life was cut short when he passed away on January 19, 2009 at the age of 16 due to the retinox cancer. Despite his premature death, his legacy continued to influence perceptions of blindness and the potential of human adaptation. Ben's story has led to increased research and interest in the eco-location as a means for blind individuals to gain greater independence and mobility. Natasha Demkina The girl with the X-ray eyes gained attention for her claim to assess the ability to see inside the human body without the use of conventional medical equipment. Her story generates a significant interest and controversy due to the extraordinary nature of the supposed abilities. Natasha Benkira was born on January 1st, 1987 in Saransk, Russia. She began noticing her unusual ability at the age of 10. She claimed that she could see various organs and structures within a person's body as colorful shapes and patterns, which she described similar to a medical scan. Natasha claimed that when she looked at a person, she could see their internal anatomy. She reported seeing organs, bones and other structures within the body that often describing their conditions or health status. She said, different colors and patterns corresponded to different organs or conditions. She claimed that a healthy organ would appear in a certain color and shape while an unhealthy organ would appear differently. Natasha's story attracted widespread attention and she was featured in various media outlets around the world. Her abilities were tested and examined by both skeptics and believers. Some people were amazed by her claims and believed she had a genuine supernatural gift while others were highly skeptical and suggested that she might be using tricks or cold reading techniques. In 2004, Natasha Demkina underwent testing in London, arranged by the British newspaper The Sun. The test included examining her abilities under controlled conditions and using medical professionals as test subjects. Skeptics argued that Natasha's ability be explained by a psychological phenomenon that facilitated communication where subtle cues from the person being examined unintentionally influenced the examiner's responses. Others suggested that she might possess right and observational skill that allow her to pick up all physical cues, body language or changes in skin color that could hint at health issues. Natasha's case remains a subject of debate by skeptics and believers and researchers. While some continued to believe her abilities, others maintain that more rigorous scientific testing and investigation are needed to confirm or refute her claims indefinitely. Stephen Milshire, a British artist known for his incredible ability to create highly detailed accurate drawings of cityscapes and landscapes from memories after only a brief observation. Stephen Milshire born on April 24, 1974 in London, England. At the age of three, he was diagnosed with autism, which initially hindered his ability to communicate and interact with others. But he displayed a keen interest in drawing at an young age, using art as a means of expression and communication. Stephen's extraordinary ability became evident when he started drawing detailed sketches of London landmarks at the age of five. After a single helicopter ride, he would later be able to recreate complex scenes from memory, having only a glimpse of them briefly. His drawings are known for their intricate details, accurate proportions, and meticulous perspective 
one of the Stephen Smilshire's most famous speech is the creation of highly detailed panoramic drawing of Rome after a single helicopter ride of the city. It's been 45 minutes observing the cityscape from air and then proceed to recreate the entire 5 meter long panorama on paper over the course of several days. The level of details captured was astounding with individual windows, architectural elements and even vehicles accurately represented. Stephen's unique talent gained widespread attention and he began to exhibit his artwork internationally. His drawings of the cities like New York, Tokyo and Sydney showcased his ability to capture the essence of each location's architectural characters. Stephen's live drawing demonstration have been a source of fascination for audiences worldwide. He has performed these demonstrations in public settings where he meticulously recreates complex scenes from memories in front of the spectators. He has also conducted art workshops and motivational talks to inspire others to pursue their passions and overcome challenges. Stephen Wilshire's journey has also contributed to raising awareness on autism. His success story demonstrates that individuals of autism can possess exceptional talents, skills that can be harnessed and nurtured. He has used his platform to advocate for autism awareness and importance of providing support and opportunities to the individuals on the autism spectrum. Stephen Wilshire's remarkable talent showcases the power of human memories and the potential of individuals with unique cognitive abilities. His story challenges conventional notions of memories and artistic skills, demonstrating that exceptional abilities that arise from unexpected places. He continued to inspire both the art world and the autism community, leaving the lasting legacy of creativity, determination and advocacy. See you guys in the next video. If you like this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.